What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothaxi and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today, oh my goodness, it's one of the exciting, exciting times here because we are going to go and purchase ourselves the brand new Petal Wand Collector. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use this one. Yeah, so three, two, one. How are we doing? I hope you guys are good. Ah, uh, yeah. Just before we get stuck into today's action, this video here today is very kindly sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has just been released and is one of the hottest RPG mobile titles of 2019. It has everything that you would expect from a PC or a console game, featuring an amazing storyline, incredible graphics, huge boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect along the way and customize. And all of this can be played right now on your smartphone on both iOS and Android. And the best bit, it is totally free to play. Raid Shadow Legends has over 10 million players worldwide just in six months. And it's incredibly highly rated by its player base with over 300,000 ratings on the Google Play Store alone. So a little bit more info about the game itself. One cool feature, which I actually really like myself, uh, is you have the ability to personally customize your champions. You can choose their artifacts and you can also create custom mastery builds for each of them. There really is something for everyone from collecting the heroes to enjoying the new storyline, PvP combat and even getting involved with the brand new Faction Wars feature. So yeah, you definitely won't be short of things to do. So make sure you go and head on down to the description section of this video and click the link to grab the game. And when you do, you'll grab it in time for 90 days of daily login rewards that you will receive from the game for free. And as well as that, when you use the link, you will also receive once again, completely for free, 50,000 silver and an epic tier champion as part of the new player program to help start your journey. So yeah, why not give it a go today? And of course, Raid Shadow Legends. Good luck. Okie dokies. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a few bits and pieces that we need to do first in order to get started here with this episode. So uh, I think my coconut crab, old oh, crabby, he's back again. Um, so we're going to have to go and take him down. So what I want to try and do is I want to try and do this a little bit differently uh, this time. And I want to actually try and build up uh, a few of my focus stacks and stuff before we go down there. See if we can get ourselves our top score. Uh, and the only thing that we have to do after that, quite simply, is donate five blue extract to the wind shrine. That quest will be complete. We will get ourselves our first of three spirit petals. And then we are going to go and get ourselves the brand new petal wand. Um, yeah, super duper excited about this one. Oh my goodness me, I can't wait to use the new collector. Uh, now, I posted a video up yesterday, which was titled How to Get the Windy Bee. Um, so in that episode itself, if you haven't seen it just yet, and maybe you're curious, I talk about... Uh, all of the various bits and pieces to do with the Windy Bee, the Wild Windy Bee, and the Wind Shrine. And yeah, there's loads and loads of bits and pieces to do with that. It's a really, really cool system. Um, but yeah, basically, because we do have the Windy Bee already, uh, we have the first edition Windy Bee from the Robux store. Um, yeah, we can use our first of three Spirit Petals to donate. Oh no, to, to use in the shop. <laughs> we're not donating it, we're using it in the shop. Oh my goodness, so excited. Okay, so... What I want to do is, uh, oh yeah, I discovered as well, I'm going to go and put these stingers in the hotbar, uh, but yeah, if you actually hold, say check this out with jelly beans, if you hold and drag, you can actually use items that way. So I was super confused, I was like, hey, how come I can't use items anymore from the actual inventory? Because there's only so many slots on the hotbar, but yeah, if you literally just hold and then drag, well, they're on recharge, but yeah, if you just hold them like that and then drag them out, then that actually uses items without you having to put them in the hotbar, which I thought was kind of useful. Anyway, I think what we're going to try and do here is I'm going to try and build up a stack of focus, and then we're going to go and jump into the field. I've got my demon mask on, so I would really, really like to try and get a time of under a minute. I feel like our best score right now is like 1 minute 20. Uh, but yeah, if I can get a stack of 10 focus, that would be really nifty. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, here we go. Second time's the charm. This this run has gone a little bit better already. I haven't just taken silly damage, so we should be okay. Um, let's evolve those little snippy snips. There we go. Let's go and pick up some focus. Let's try and... Oh, I lost my 10 stack. No! Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I don't think we're going to get under a minute. Never mind. 
<laughs> so I guess you can keep redoing it until you, you know, have like the perfect run. But to be honest, I'm kind of eager to get my battle one. So, hey, it's not too much of a big deal. Yeah, I would like to try and get under a minute. I feel like we could do that. If we have like a constant 10 stack of focus, uh, I feel like we could definitely do that. The, the thing is, though, like sometimes the, the tokens spawn like right next to him. And if you don't get a link token, they're kind of easy to like not get. So... As long as we keep hitting the, the spikes, there's some melody in there as well. That would be kind of handy. Oh, coconut. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Yeah, if we could have kept that 10 stack, it would have been party time, I think. But who knows? I mean, the cool thing is you can try like pretty much every day. So not the end of the world, really. Uh, okay, let me just finish this guy off. And here he goes. Ta -da -da! <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite bit. Collecting all of these coconuts and all of these like rewards and stuff. So, so cool. Gonna get loads of tropical drinks. Yeah, I am building up my tropical drinks as well, again. Um, so that we can actually uh, get ourselves the boots. See, the thing is, the clogs aren't as good, I don't think, as the gummy boots. But uh, the cool thing now about these new items is if you have, like, the previous item, or I guess the worst item, uh, the buffs that you still have from those items carry over as, like, a passive ability towards the next thing. So, for example, we've got our Demon Mask on right now. We have the X-Flame, which is the actual ability. And we also have the uh, passive ability Ignite, which is from the Fire Mask. Um, so, same thing will happen with the boots. We'll actually be able to get the Coconut Haste ability whilst wearing our gummy boots. Uh, okay, one minute. To... It's literally the same time as last time. Huh. Hmm. We've got to shave off 28 seconds somehow. I feel like if we kept that stack and actually used our stingers properly... We might be able to do it. Anyway, now that we've got that bad boy cleared, uh, we can actually go and... Uh, should we go and donate the extract? Yeah, why not? So yeah, the reason why I cleared out the coconut crab is just in case when we donate the extract, it gives us a coconut winds boost. Um, so I've got to say that I'm loving the coconut winds. Uh, they're so, so good. And what I've been doing... Just doing a little bit of practice based off yesterday's video of donating really high value items. I'm supposed to get the gummy mask. <laughs> really high items uh, into the wind shrine to kind of see what sort of boosts we can get. Um, so yeah, what I've kind of done as like a system is I, I kind of want to see if I can get really, really nice wind stacks on either the coconut field, which is kind of the one that I've been trying to get, or maybe like the pepper patch, or what seems to keep happening is I keep seeing to get the mountaintop. Now, the mountaintop field is good, but the only problem is, is that in order to actually get a nice field boost going, you do need to basically um, have yourself a bunch of field dice, because you kind of want to get like a bit of a field booster. Um, so yeah, I kind of have to like burn through the field dice in order to maybe if I'm lucky get like a two times mountaintop but even with that seven times wins for the instant conversion it does work really really well um so yeah what I want to do is I actually want to do a video at some point where I'm gonna donate like a bunch of really high value items and just see what happens um so yeah I want to donate maybe like three or four in that video I want to go and do a gifted diamond egg uh we might do like 10 star jelly we might do, uh, I don't know, like five gifted gold eggs or something. Maybe like 2,000 royal jellies. Just mess around with it and see what happens. Anyway, let's go and complete the fifth quest here. Five blue extract to the wind shrine. And then we get our first spirit petal. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm guessing it might spawn a windy bean. Oh, cool breeze emanates. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's going to spawn one, but it's going to give us loads of items. So yeah, we saw this yesterday. Different messages in the Wind Shrine uh, do different things, basically. So that is the message that pops up when you're going to receive straight up items. Um, so yeah, from five extracts, we got uh, 15 million honey, three magic beans, six micro converters, and six field dice. To be honest, though, I'll take the field dice. Although, you can see the Wind Shrine isn't moving, which means there is no Windy Bee out there right now. Okay, here goes nothing. We're going to talk to Spirit Bear, and we're going to do it in our ladylike... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Irish voice. <laughs> we might as well roll with it. Look at this. Sway away. It's done. The tenth quest. Here we go. Ooh. Keep your nasty nymphs out of my pumpkins. Oh, hi there, dear. How was it there? Uh, how was it out there with Wendy? Ha! Put that little pest in its place, did you know? It's all good fun. Okay. Wendy B loves nothing more than a little mayhem. Uh, isn't that right? Okay. Have I ever told you? You look quite familiar. I can't put my paw on it. Oh, on it. Uh, on it. You look a bit like on it. <laughs> but you all look rather similar to me. No offense, dear. In a good way. It's a charming look. 
but he's not who I'm thinking of. Who? Hmm, never mind. You know, I've met so many different people in my life. So many types, all shapes, all sizes. Bears, yes. Every type of bear. But uh, others too. More than I can remember. Okay, alright, okay. So she thinks we look a bit like on it. I guess it kind of looks similar in a way. I guess he's kind of got the, this collector, hasn't he? Oh, has he got that? No, I think he's got like the, like the OG gear, like up in the 30B zone. Anyway, all I can remember is that there were more than I can remember. <laughs> Shouldn't surprise me anymore that every face looks familiar. Uh, similar even. Okay, she digs through her petal belt. Oh, give me a second, dear. Ah, here we are. My water bottle, quite thirsty. My mouth is simply parched. She struggles to open the cap of her water bottle. Okay. Why is this so tight? Who do they make these for? <laughs> Can you open this for Spirit Bear? <laughs> you open the bottle of water for her. Oh, thank you, dear. She takes a drink. Mm, yes. She takes another drink. Ah, so much better. This bottle is made from plastic that isn't so uh, quite so bad, you see. Okay. I care more than anyone about nature. You know that. I wouldn't just drink from a regular old water bottle. It dissolves over time. There's a word for it. Science Bear, he showed me this. They're biodegradable, yes? She takes another drink. Mmm. Now, what was it you needed, honey bun? <laughs> quest? Who's Quest? Oh yes, right. Splendid work out there. Impressive indeed. Okay, well, bye. What's that? Spirit Petal? Oh no, dear. That's for the tenth. Oh goodness, forgive me! Of course, this was your tenth quest! And with that, you've earned yourself a spirit petal! Yeah! <coughs> Excuse me. Your first spirit petal. A precious, delicate object used in various rituals. Uh, okay, that's what I've been told at least. Rituals, maybe not so much anymore. For you, though, there's a few not so ritualistic options. If you donated to the Wind Shrine, within every cloud vial you donate to the Wind Shrine after that, will have a chance to win over Windy Bee and reward you with a Windy Bee Egg. It won't be easy though. Oh no, you know by now that Bee doesn't make things easy. Okay, each offering you make to the Wind Shrine uh, impresses Windy ever so slightly more. Okay, uh, we, 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 well, we kind of like did this yesterday, I guess. So it never forgets a single offering and it expects an outrageous level of generosity. So basically, as we said in short, you have to donate the petal first and then cloud vials, cloud vials, cloud vials. Eventually, you'll get yourself the egg. Okay. Just give me the spirit petal now, please. <laughs> hey, there we go. Sway away complete. A hundred million honey and our first spirit petal. Ooh, and a sneaky cheeky vicious bee. Okay, so now is the time. It is time. Oh my goodness me. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. So look, if we go into our inventory, we now have in our possession, ta-da, a spirit petal. A delicate flower petal used in rituals and... We are going to purchase, oh my goodness, here it goes, look at this bad boy. So yeah, in order to make this guy, uh, it's 1.5 billion honey, which actually isn't too bad considering. Um, it collects fifth, uh, 5 pollen from 37 patches in 0.7 seconds and boosts it by 60%, and every third swing fires a petal shuriken that causes these to instantly convert pollen. One spirit petal, 10 star jelly, 25 glitter, 75 enzymes. <gasps> in three, in two, in one, and ta-da! <laughs> we got it! Oh my goodness, it's so cool looking. <gasps> I love like the trail of pollen that's coming out of the back of it. Can you see that particle effect? Oh, <gasps> I love it. Look! and spirit bear match. Hey, hers is way bigger than mine. Huh. Look at that. Outrageous. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so cool, though. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm kind of most excited to see the abilities. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, where should we go? What field should we go in? I want one where we can actually kind of see what we're doing. So let's just, I'll tell you what, let's just go in here. Let's see the abilities in action. So apparently every third swing. Whoa. Okay, at every third swing fires into your bees and it causes them to instantly convert so if you actually look over the tops of the bees so i'll do one i'll do two and then three if i get them in front of me you kind of see it's a little bit tricky to see but there's like yellow writing and there's like a little arrow oh i missed <laughs> can i see it like this hang on whoa dude can you see it it's like a little flower Oh, that's so cool. Woo! I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it's actually got another ability too. I, 
can't quite remember how we trigger it. Uh, does it give me a... I swear it does something else. What does it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, maybe that's the petal belt. Okay, we need to get the belt as well. <laughs> the belt is the next one up, I guess. So yeah, we need to do a bunch more of the Spirit Bear quests. But you know what? I am so happy with my collector. It's so cool. I love the shuriken. Oh, look at it. So what's the pattern like? If we go straight into a field and just hit down. Oh, look, it does it in the shape of a flower. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> do you see like the, the pattern that it's made? That's such a weird collection pattern. Wow, okay. So yeah, the one thing that I want to do with this is I really want to, you know, just try and do some, some field boosts and bits and pieces. Try and, you know, get to know it a little bit better. You know, the one cool thing about the collector that we've been using for ages is its ability is actually pretty good. Uh, and it's a very, very good one. Um, so, you know, the one up in the, the mountaintop shop there. But obviously, now it is time for a little bit of a change. I love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, I guess what we should do is, I, I guess I'm going to start cracking on here with the brand new Spirit Bear quest. So we need to do 10 more quests in order to get ourselves the next piece of equipment, uh, which is going to be the uh, the Petal Belt. And also, I have been working on coconuts here in the background, nothing too heavy, uh, but we've now got 112 tropical drinks and 85 coconuts. So in order to actually get the clogs... Oh, we literally only need a few more coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was more expensive than that. I guess the backpack is the expensive one. Oh, cool. So yeah, we can get the coconut clogs pretty soon. Um, we'll do that in a different episode. And yeah, we can then actually get the abilities. And then it is pretty much a case of grinding out these spirit bear quests. Now, as I mentioned, the spirit bear quests, they get harder every single time you do them. Okay. Look, turn around and look another time out over the mountain. What do you see? Flowers, bees, blocks parts yes okay surely something so familiar you could see it with your own eyes closed okay you could list the fields if you tried you could name each of the bears and probably at least most of the bees so familiar to you uh, now that you are so familiar with it how long would it take if you left this place to forget it oh honor you're getting deep and philosophical we'll never forget bee swarm i know i won't <laughs> well certainly in time you'd forget the details but details they're forgotten all the time what's left when those are gone hmm why am I asking so many questions, hmm? All things that live, uh, come and go as sure as the sun rises and falls. Even surer than that. And when they do, they leave behind, uh, leave behind something, okay? That something is us, and yet, and that something is you. And I'm not even talking about your parents. Everything that lives has and has lived. Our memories live and die as well. Uh, okay. Thickler than a flower petal. Memories. And don't even remember, uh, I don't even remember what I had for dinner yesterday. <laughs> But when they do, <laughs> when what we remember becomes what we forget, they leave behind even more than we could imagine. <sighs> Speaking of forgetting, I forgot to give you a glitter last quest. At least one glitter with every quest, that's the rule. Anyway, let's work on our, me uh, our memories together now, shall we? Memory match! Oh, okay, she always gives us like a random memory match. That's pretty nifty. Uh, okay, I'm really terrible with these. It's something I've learned. Oh, two in a row though. Three in a row? Ah, oh, come on. Hey, okay, you know what? I'll take three. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at memory match. But hey, there we go. Boom. Uh, did you give me a quest? Ah, there it is. So here's the brand new quest. Um, so 180 million white pollen, 150 million pollen from the bamboo, 90 million from the spider, 20 million goo from blue flowers, a thousand honey tokens, a hundred tokens from leaves. 500 flowers donated, uh, 500 sunflowers donated to the wind shrine. Use the wealth clock three times and match three pairs in the memory match game. So as you can see, this is only quest number 11 and they are getting pretty spicy. I would imagine if they're probably going to get into the billions at some point. Um, but yeah, we need to press on with those. It's kind of cool because it gives me something to do in the background. Uh, and I, I do really enjoy doing the quests and stuff. Look at my wand! Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so I think, unfortunately, that is probably going to be about it for today's video here today. Is King Beetle in? He is. Hello, Sausage. How are you doing? I hope you are good. Loop. Uh, yeah, so another thing that I'm going to try and be doing some work on is that apparently there is now a Supreme Stump Snail amulet, which I think is really, really cool, but it is literally just a case of waiting for Stump Snail to come back and then taking him down. So I don't know how many times we've done him. I've completely forgotten, but I want to guesstimate at about 23. 
uh, 23, 24 times, and I have no idea how we get the Supreme Amulet. The last time I did him, like yesterday, I got a diamond again. Um, but yeah, we want to try and get that new amulet as well. And yeah, we'll see how things go. So unfortunately, that's going to be about it for today's episode. So once again, thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty up!